right, Shalom, Shalom, it's the brother Zachariah coming back to you with another Highways and Hedges, okay? And uh, I had to change locations because it was beginning to rain, so I had to get under an overpass, so I'm more closer to the river, and uh, I was a little skeptic about this area because I've never done a lesson here, but uh, Lord willing, this be edifying, and hopefully everything goes smooth with it, because, you know, I don't know if somebody might try to say, hey, you can't record here or something, I don't know, but, but Lord willing, you know, I'm able to get through the lesson. You know, normally in Salakia, because normally uh, I have my uh, main location that I go to, but like I said, there's nothing that can cover you for when it starts to rain. And, and I got my equipment and, and my uh, notes and stuff, and I don't need it to get rained on, you know, because if, if something happens to my equipment, then I won't be able to do lessons, okay? So I'll salak you for that. But uh, like I said, I just use this this location, all right? You know, uh, you know the Bible does say highways and hedges. You know, hedges, you know, you might get to be under, uh, you know, a, a bridge, uh, some type of overpass, you know, alleys, whatever, you know, off in the cuts, you know, sometimes it be that way, you know. Uh, but uh, before I get started, let me uh, face the east as I give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honor to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you brothers out there that are laboring, enduring the elements, making your body a living sacrifice, trying to seal the elect, making your calling election and sure, seeking out your own salvation, as, as well as you sisters that are learning, listening, applying, being obedient to your husbands, okay? Shalom, shalom. So today's lesson is going to be titled, uh, that Yah only spirit will get you destroyed or, you know, something to that degree, okay? I might change the title, but it'll be something similar to that uh, there, all right? Uh, so, uh, without further ado, let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and uh, dive into these scriptures. I'm going to bring out a lot of scriptures, okay? So, bear with me. But I'm going to start off with the book of John, chapter 14. And uh, I'm going to start at verse 6. And it says, Yahweh Shah said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, should have known my father also and from hence henceforth you know him and have seen him okay but you know a lot of our people uh especially even going back into the ancient world they would uh they they were always about it's just the father you know what i'm saying he has this only begotten son which we knew that was a prophecy to come that he was going to come which he came through uh mary and joseph all right uh so uh you know, a lot of our people are under this notion that it's all, you know, just they, they're dealing with the Father, okay? And they just disregard Yahweh Shai completely, okay? We have uh, a lot of that happening, and I, I, I call it that Yah only spirit. You know, they don't, uh, they just say that he was just a man, uh, and these are Israelites, man. These are Israelites that proclaim to be in the truth, and they don't, they don't, uh, you know, mention Yahweh Shai, give him any reference, uh, none of that, you know? And that's that's really uh, going off. There's an order to things, okay? So uh, I wanna bring out another precept. Just give me one, one second. I'm gonna go to the book of 2 Corinthians, oh uh, no, uh, Salakia, uh, 1 Corinthians, not 2 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, and I'm going to go to the, uh, third verse all right and it says but i would have uh but i would have you know that the head of every man is hamashiach yahweh shai okay so that the head over the man is yahweh shai okay and it's a difference all right because you got some people that will say yahweh shai is yahweh or yahweh you know vice versa you know and that's going off you know there are two different entities se or separate entities, you know, because they'll see the scripture where it says that they are one and that's because they are in unison. They are on one, one accord, okay? He's doing the will of his father, okay? Like we were supposed to be, we at one point, we were one accord with Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, but we begin to go off and we've been disconnected from our power, okay? So you got to understand words, the meaning of words and everything. You know, a lot of our people just read it and you're reading it from a Christianity perspective you know through the lenses of the christians you know how they look at stuff you know they just read it and just say hey see that's it that's it and, you know that's what it means you know and all that and i'm like no sometimes you need to research words and, and get the breakdown of words you know 
Yeah, uh, you know, you need to do do diligent research. And a lot of times they don't want to. They're lazy. And a lot of our people are too. So again, it says, but I will have you know that the head of every man is the Hamashiach Yahawashai, okay? And the head of the woman is the man. So the man is over the woman, okay? And the head of Hamashiach Yahawashai is Yahweh, okay? So Yahweh is over uh, uh, Shai. So it's showing you it's two different people. Okay. All right, family. Shalom, shalom. Okay. Uh, I almost forgot to post this as well. This was another screenshot that I had because I think she de deactivated her account. But um, you know, going into the order of you know how the scriptures tell you that it's um, it's the Most High, then it's his son, then it's the husband and the wife. Look at this. This is what she posted on her page. And she put the most high, then she put husband, then she put wife, and then children. And she said, in this order. And then her caption says, nothing is missing. Husbands, change in your marriage, and your family starts with you. And then I guess she's saying, Yahweh called you to lead, now go. You know, so she, she doesn't, she don't have Yahweh shy in there at all. This is why you got to be very careful, you know. And then you got certain brothers that was on her liking her post, you know, and there's Yahweh Shai is not even is not even in there. And I know those guys believe in Yahweh Shai, but, you know, a lot of times you'll like a post. You have to be careful with these these females, man. And look, she has 274 likes, you know, that's why I said there's a lot of people, man, that they they, they believe in it. Uh, Yah only. Um. They they have that yah only spirit, you know. So this is this is going off, man. You know, uh, matter of fact, uh, we're gonna stay in First Corinthians, but we're gonna go to the 14th chapter and the 40th verse. Hey, one four four, it's one four four in there. Okay, and it says, uh, "Let all things be done decently and in order." So there's an order to things. Okay, Yahweh. Yahweh Shai, the man and the woman, which and then you know you got children, which children are, are predominantly with the with the woman because the men are out. You know there were times where we were at war, we were out in the wars, or we're uh, like today we're out here we're teaching, we're teaching the word. Okay, so it says let all things be done decently and in order. Okay, so you got a lot of these people, man, that are pushing a different vibration. Okay. I'm gonna move to uh, bring out another uh, another precept. Like I said, I'm gonna bring out a lot of scriptures. Okay, this is uh, the book of John, chapter 10 and verse 9. It says, "I am the door." And this is Yahweh Shai, Shai speaking. "I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. It shall go in and out and find pasture." Okay, so Yahweh Shai is the door, but a lot of our people seem to go pass him like he ain't the door okay so uh i'm gonna uh jump onto facebook here real quick because there was this uh this one sister and this was really inspired me to do this you know but not just her there's been uh, i've been seeing many other people as well let me see she might have deleted her page. I don't know. Let me see. Uh, make sure I get her page name right. Yeah, I can't find her page on here. I don't know. Maybe she blocked me. I wasn't uh, following her page, but... Maybe she just deleted her page altogether. But uh, I, I got the screenshot, and that's why I'm glad I grabbed it. But it, this is what it says, okay? And it says, did Yahawashai wake y'all up today? And she put question mark. Then stop giving Yahawashai credit. Give all, uh, all give, uh, I guess she's saying, give Yahweh all the credit, okay? All praises to Yahweh only, all right? And see, I'm saying Yahweh because, uh, I believe she was saying Yah on her page, but I, I seen lately where she was saying Yahweh. You know, I saw that before, I guess she maybe deactivated her account or 
whatever. But see, maybe she got convicted because maybe people were telling her, hey, this ain't right. This is going off, you know? But you know, this is what happens when you listen to too many different teachers. Not all people, there's a lot of false prophets among us, you know, and false doctrines, okay? There's one faith, one truth, one baptism. And you know, it's like I said, everything got to be done decently in order. And, and you got men that are set up to, to teach and edify the people. But a lot of uh, women, they come in that real rebellious, you can't tell me nothing type spirit, which uh, matter of fact, uh, let me see if I can pull uh, this up here real quick to show you, you know, that wisdom has been taken away from women, okay? Give me one second, y'all, as I see if I can. All right, yeah, this is what I'm looking for. This is the book of Job, the 39th chapter in the 17th verse, and it says, because uh, God, you know, talking about Yahweh, because Yahweh has have, uh, deprived her of wisdom, neither had he impart, imparted to her understanding. So she don't have that wisdom. She don't have that understanding. But yet they, they, they don't want to be told by a man because, you know, uh, when you go back into the Garden of Eden, uh, the, the serpent didn't beguile the man. He beguiled the woman, okay? And, uh, you know, matter of fact, I can pull that up too. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I want to pull these scriptures to let you know. This is a heavy thing. You know, this might be a long lesson, but uh, just bear with me, okay? This is very important. All right, this is First Timothy uh, chapter 2 and verse 14. It says, and Adam was not deceived. See, Adam was not deceived. But the woman being deceived was in the transgression. So transgression is sin. So she was in sin. She did that. She was deceived. And then she went and uh, she got, she beguiled her husband. He listened to her. You know, which he, that's why it says there's an order. The man is over the woman, you know, so he knew better, but he listened to the woman. She got big out by the serpent and went and said, hey, you know, with all that stuff that she uh, took in from the serpent, okay? So uh, this is why there's an order to things. And he set up men. The scriptures tell you the tabernacle of God is with men, you know, but, they, but in this kingdom that's ran by Esau, Edom, he has... In order to take down a nation, that you know, you got to take down the men. So he used the woman to take down the man, just like the serpent did with Eve. He used Eve to take down Adam. You know, this is what our women. He, he uses our women. This is why our women can make up lies. Oh man, he hit me and call the police, and, and and the police can look at Eve and know damn well, like look at her and tell she lying. Be like, man, we know this Jake didn't do that, but they're gonna lock him up because they have that perpetual hatred for us. So that's a weapon. They use Eve as a weapon to, to take us out, take us down, okay? Just like, so our women have been lifted up in this kingdom. So when they come into this truth, a lot of them still have a lot of Babylon in them, within them. That Babylon wine, you know, they ain't fully uh, came up out of it, came out of that hangover. So they, uh, they, they don't want to be told what to do. You know, when uh, and they don't like order, you know, which everything need to be done in decently and in order. OK, so this is what this woman said, man. She said, did Yahweh Shai wake y'all up today? Then stop giving Yahweh Shai credit. Give all, you know, give, uh, you know, Yahweh all the credit, all praise to Yahweh only. You know, so they got that Yah only spirit. You know, a lot of them call on Yah. They say Yah, Y-A-H. Which, you know, there's that scripture where it goes, I believe it's in the book of Psalms where it talks about Jah. It says his name, uh, it says J-A-H, which we know there was no J in our in our language, you know. So they'll say that's really going for, it means the Y. So his name is Yah, not Jah. You know, because you hear a lot of Benjamites say Jah in their music, okay. But his name is to be Yahweh. You know, he, he removed his name and the language from our people. You know, he removed himself from us. You know, and uh, one of the things is our people are not are looking past Yahweh. Like, we're not going to deal. I mean, um, Salakia, they're not. They're looking past Yahweh Shai, who was the door, and they're going straight up to uh, Yahweh, like like he's dealing with us. You know, and uh, there's this beautiful picture, which I'm gonna put it down here, and um, so that you can see it. 
and how it has it's uh, artwork, but it has Yahweh. Yahweh is looking away, you know, and uh, when you look at the scriptures, Yahweh is not even uh, Yahweh can't look at us right now because see we're so filthy and we're in sin, so Yahweh is looking away. You know, so Yahweh pretty much is in um, Slaki for that. I was just making sure it wasn't somebody, you know, met or something. But Yahweh can't look at us because we're in sin right now, you know. So we have to deal with the with the Son, you know, because the Son, His name means He saves, He delivers, He is the Savior, He's coming to deliver us, He is the King, you know, and the earth is His inheritance, okay? So He's coming back to claim this as well as uh, get His people, you know, the elect. You know, so if you coming into this, this it's not good to be in this type of spirit. You know, and maybe that's probably why she took her page down, or she could have blocked me. I don't know. Which I wasn't following her page anyways, but you know, uh, I just stumbled across her post. I seen it, and it was like, wow, this is crazy. All right, so we're gonna get back into some more precepts. You know, like I said, this could be a lengthy lesson, but we need to edify the people. This is not us just doing our own talking. These are the scriptures. But even you could bring all these scriptures out. I could do this lesson and it could still go over their heads because they, you know, it, it's not for everybody. And we know, but we're trying to edify the people because you got to be careful out here. There's too many, too many different doctrines and stuff. But, you know, we, we, we speak according to the scriptures. And even though they can bring out a precept here and there, then they don't have eyes to see. They've been blinded. Which ultimately, Yahweh, by uh, Shem Yahweh Shai, uh, have blinded them because he says the deceiver and the deceived are his, you know? Okay? This is Matthew 21 and 37. It says, But last of all, he sent unto them his son, saying, They will reverence my son. Okay? So this is a separation. This is a father sending his son. So how is that to, uh, the same person? You know, you had people, this, uh, I believe he was a uh, Northern Kingdom brother. He was on my post going in talking about how uh, uh, Yahweh Shai is Yahweh and all this stuff. And I'm like, man, he is he is the son of Yahweh. He's the only begotten son. Like, come on, man. You know, which we're going to bring out some scriptures to break all that down as well. All right. But it says, but last of all, he sent unto them his son, saying they will reverence my son. Okay, so I'm going to uh, pull up the, the word reverence and we're going to see what that word means. Okay, this is the word reverence and it says deep respect for someone or something. Okay, uh, let me see, there's some of the similar words. Uh, high esteem, high regard, great respect, admiration, uh, Let's see what this one. Appreciation, okay. Recognition. See, she's not rec she's not recognizing Yahweh Shai, you know. So, look, worship, worship. This is why when we uh, do our prayers, we say call the law, call the law Yahweh, which that means all praise Yahweh by Hashem in the name of His Son, you know Yahweh Shai, okay. Call all Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, which is the Holy Spirit, you know. So we're we're showing you, look, worship is even on there. Okay. Uh honor, okay, homage, praise. <laughs> Come on now. So our people, man, uh, they perish for a lack a lack of knowledge, man. Look, this is another one, look, regard or treat with deep respect, okay? All right, but see, our people didn't want to accept Yahweh Shai as their king and savior, and this goes back into the ancient world, which I'm going to bring out some scriptures now to show you. You know, even Yahweh Shai said it out of his own mouth. You know, I got a couple, several of precepts. Okay. All right, we're going to start with the Book of John, the 15th chapter, in the 18th verse. And it says, this is what the Ahawah Shai is speaking. And it says, if the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. So he was hated back then. He was hated. And those same spirits are back on earth today. And I keep saying through the spirit, a lot of these y'all only spirit people, Israelites, 
I, I, I believe through the spirit, they are the ones that, uh, you know, a majority of them were the ones that uh, gave him up to be crucified. Because you had a lot of people that were keeping the law, statutes and commandments, had fringes, all that. Keeping the laws, the new moons, the Sabbaths, they were doing all that. And when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, because our people were still going off on things. And see, he had to come to fulfill prophecy. All right? And our people, uh, they didn't want to acknowledge him or accept him. And they even called him Beelzebub. They seen miracles being done, and they called him Beelzebub, which that's like calling him Satan. Okay? So that's one one right there, just showing you that uh, he was, uh, he's letting you know that he was hated, you know? You see, they're going to hate his men, too. So, you know, will be hated. All right? This is uh, also in the book of John. This is John, the 19th chapter, in the 15th verse. And it says, but they cried out, away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said unto them, shall I crucify your king? And this is what the chief priest said. And the, the chief priest answered, we have no king but Caesar. Okay, because they were under the Roman uh, uh, Empire at that time. A lot of our Israelites, you know, so they were, uh, you know, they said that Caesar was their king. Just like you have a lot of them that are cool with, with Babylon. They're, some are cool, uh, there's Israelites that are cool with being an Israelite in Babylon. They talk about getting land, getting property, getting money, in, uh, multiple incomes, all this stuff. And that's madness. When the scriptures tell us to use the world but don't abuse it, you know, we're supposed to, uh, you know, keep it simple, you know. And, and a lot of Israelites want to live comfortably, you know. Yeah, we're Israelites, but let's have all this income and be comfortable in Babylon. And, th and this place is going to be destroyed. You know, it don't make no sense, man. Showing you that a lot of our people just don't got it. They got a zeal of the Most High, but they don't have the whole, the whole truth, man. And that's this is not the time to be in that type of mindset. All right, this is Luke chapter twenty-three, and I'm gonna start at verse twenty-one, and it says, "But they cried, saying, Crucify him, crucify him." And he said unto them the third time, "Why? What evil have he done? I have found no cause of death in him. I will therefore chastise him and let him go." And they. And they were instant with loud voices requiring that he might be crucified. And the voices of them and of the chief priests prevailed. And Pilate gave sentence that it should be as they required. See, our people gave him up to be crucified. And he released unto them him that for sedition and murder was cast into prison. So a man, a, a criminal, a man that was, that, that was a murderer and everything and committing all types of sins, he was released. All right? whom they had desired, okay? But he, he delivered Yahawashai to their will, okay? And as they led him away, they laid hold upon one Simon, a Cyrenian, coming out of the country, and on him they laid the cross, that he might bear it after Yahawashai. And there followed him a great company of people and of women, which also bewailed and lamented him. But Yahawashai turning unto them said daughters of jerusalem weep not for me but weep for yourselves and for your children hmm so why did he say that and i'm gonna tell you why there's a precept to go with that to show you why he said what he said all right so we're gonna go over to the book of matthew the 27th chapter and i'm gonna start at the 24th verse hey this thing this thing coming together beautifully okay this is why he said that, and, and, and these were uh, Israelites that were that were crying because he was being put to death. You know, you have people that are in that spirit today. You know that we we, we hurt that uh, over the sacrifice that what he did. We know that it had to be done, but man, you know what he did, and our people are not appreciative appreciating uh, you know the things that he did, the sacrifices. You know, okay. This is Matthew twenty-seven, and I'm gonna start at verse twenty-four. And it says, when Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing. But rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See ye to it. Then he answered all the people and said, His blood be on us, and, uh, his blood be on us and, and on our children. So this is what they said. Let his blood be on us and our children. And this is why we catch a hill to this day, because our people, our people, man, uh, you know, being ignorant, man. Okay? And this is why Yahweh Shai said this, you know, despite them 
getting him crucified and all that, wanting him to be, uh, you know, put put to death, he said this, you know. And so we're gonna go to the uh, back to the book of Luke in the 23rd chapter, but we're gonna go on down to the 33rd verse and, and read on a little bit. And it says, and when they and th when they were come to the place which is called Calvary, there they crucified him. So he was crucified. And the male factors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Then said Yahweh Shai, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. And the people stood be beholding. And the rulers also with them derided him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself. If he be Christ, uh, the chosen of, of God, and the soldiers also mocked him. See, there'll be mockers, and there's mockers in his days too. Coming to him and offering him vinegar. Look at that, man. And saying, if thou be the king of the Jews, save thyself. And a super superscription also was written over him in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. Okay? So uh, with all that being done to him, he asked uh, Yahweh to forgive them. Okay, so Yahweh can't even look at us, man. Our people gave him up to be crucified, but this is this is the meek and humbleness of Yahweh Shai, man. And you're supposed to give him uh, praise and acknowledgement, and uh, you know, an honor, you know, as well, because he is the one that's bringing us back to the fold, bringing us back to the heavenly Father, so the heavenly Father can look at us and be like, "Those are my people." You know, so when you come in that type of spirit, that's not the, that's not uh, a righteous spirit, and that will get you destroyed. That will get you left off the chariots. You know, but see, our people, man, and they. This is why. Also, this is said in Revelations, uh, chapter one and verse seven. Okay, and it says, "Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him." And this is going into the Romans that pierced them and also the two thirds of our people. Okay? And all kindred and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. They're gonna, they're gonna scream, cry, holler, all that. Even so, I'm on, okay? So, you know, our people, man, they need to wake up, man. It's all types of uh all types of madness, man. We're not in the times to be like that. You know, there's so much proof that proves that there are two different entities, okay? This is uh, Daniel chapter 7 verse 9 and it says, I beheld till the thrones were cast down and the ancient of the days did sit. This is Yahweh, whose garment was white as snow and his hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as burning fire, okay? So we're going to uh, move on down to the 13th verse, okay? All right, and I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. Okay, so this is this is someone being brought up to the Ancient of Days. This is Yahweh Shai. Okay, two different people, man. When he when Yahweh Shai before he got crucified, he was praying up to the Father. You know, Yahweh's not going to pray to himself. Let, man, make that make sense. Man, our people, man, strong delusion. Strong delusion. All right? I'm going to bring out another uh, precept here. We're going to go to the book of Acts, the seventh chapter. And we're going to uh, read, uh, we're going to start at the 55th uh, verse. So this is Acts 7, verse 55. Okay? And it says, but he being filled of, of the Holy Ghost looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God and Yahweh Shai standing on the right hand of uh, God of, you know which is Yahweh see so this is a, uh, you know how is Yahweh standing you know beside Yahweh you know if, if, if it's the, uh, if it's the same person okay father and the son okay and, and said, Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. Come on, man. This stuff is eat, man. But 
let you know, like I said, there's people that have been blinded, okay? They have been blinded. Blessed are your eyes for they see, and blessed are your ears for they hear, okay? All right? This is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 11, and it says, And this, or, or, and for this, cause God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie. So he put strong delusion on them, okay? We're going to look up that word delusion here real quick. Show you what delusion means. All right? I'm going to look up uh, delusional, okay? This is delusional. It says characterized by or holding false beliefs or judgments about external reality that are held despite in incontrovertible evidence to the contrary, typical as a symptom of a mental condition. See? Based on or having faulty judgment, mistaking. See? Their delusional belief in the project's merits never wavers. Okay? So this... You have a strong delusion on you, man. So no matter all these precepts, precept upon precept, line upon line, bringing all this out, and you still don't get it. You know, that's not that's not a good look, man. It's not a good look. All right? Give me a quick second, y'all. in verse 31 it says him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior see this is his name Yahweh Shai's name man he saves he delivers he's a savior okay him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins so this is what Yahweh Shai is all about so if you disregard him you know how are you expected to be forgiven forgiven of your sins to, to have repentance okay and this is why a lot of people this is going to happen to a lot of people man because it tells you that the kingdom to come is going to only be for a few all right a lot of our people are going to perish man and lord willing I, I don't be one of those people man i'm not perfect i'm not perfect you know you know maybe because of my sins you know the ones knowingly unknowingly those of, of old could keep me out man could keep it, all of us out you know, but there are some men that are trying, man. I'm trying to the best of my abilities. I'm trying to keep these high holy days. You know, I'm trying to be a, a good brother, you know, and not, uh, you know, have hatred in my heart. Uh, keep these law statutes and commandments to the best of my abilities. You know, not offend the little ones, you know, that believe on your Yahweh Shem Shai. You know, come out here, make my call and election sure. It's because, you know, I don't want to be, I don't want to be destroyed with this place. You know, I'm vexed by this place. Man, my body, man, hurts. You know, I got pain in my back. You know, everything is just, you know, you know, everything about this place, man. Like I said, the food, the air, everything is bad, man. You know, and just uh, it's, it's it's hell. You know, and I, I wanna I wanna be one of those ones in the chariots, man. And, and that should be you too. I wanna see you you on there as well. You that are tuning in, you know. You know, and you that have this strong delusion on you, I pray that that comes off of you, man. In the name of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, that it come off of you, man. That you wake up. But we, we do understand that everyone is not going to, you know. And that also, we have to be at peace with that. A lot of our family is not going to make it. Okay? So, uh, I'm going to bring out this last uh, precept here. Uh, and I'll end it on this. And uh, Lord willing, this was edifying, okay? You know, uh, this is the book of Matthew chapter 7 and I'm going to start at verse 21 and it says not everyone that saith unto me Lord Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven but he that doeth the will of my of my father which is in heaven okay alright so and one of the things you got to give reverence to his son if you're not going to do that man that's that's you you that's a commandment man you must you must reverence his son and a lot of you are not doing it okay alright again not everyone that saith uh, saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? You know? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many uh, wonderful works? Okay? 
And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you, ye that work iniquity. Okay? And nobody wants to hear depart from me. I never knew you, man. You don't want to hear that. You want to hear well done, my faithful servant. Okay? So uh, I pray that this lesson was edifying to you. And I pray that uh, you don't be stuck in that y'all only spirit, man. Because like I said, that y'all only spirit will get you left off the chariots and, uh, and destroyed. Okay? So again, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. All right? Uh, I want to give all honor. I'll go in our face as I face the east. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. And Shalom to you, brothers and sisters out there. Until the next one, Shalom.